We got some questions on a previous video about whether it is safe or up to code for a range outlet to be installed face up on the floor. And if you Google this question, you will find a ton of forum threads where people are asking the same thing. And there are answers ranging from saying, no, it's not up to code at all to the national electrical code actually only bans face up outlets on counters where they are more likely to encounter spills. So technically it's okay to do this on the floor. Now, to be clear, we cannot give you a single yes, no answer in a YouTube video about whether this is up to code where you live. For example, we have gotten comments on previous videos about how things are done differently in Europe and we are based in the US, so you should always check with a local electrical professional. But just for entertainment purposes, we thought it would be interesting to ask this question to ChatGPT and other generative AI programs like Microsoft Copilot and Google Gemini to see how reliable they are and what sort of information they give. The first thing to note here is that you can ask one of these programs the exact same question twice in a row and get two completely different answers. And we can already see that some of the information in the answers might not make a lot of sense. For example, it's not really clear how it would be harder to plug or unplug something into an outlet that is face up on the floor as opposed to vertical on a wall. Now, if you've used ChatGPT before, you probably know that the way you format the question or prompt engineering plays a big role in the answer that you get. So let's see what happens if we try asking it a much more specific question instead of the fairly vague version that we asked it earlier. So we can see that again here, it's giving us some information that doesn't really make sense. It's saying that outlets must be easily accessible for maintenance and a face up outlet installed on the floor behind the range would be difficult to access. Therefore, the outlet should actually be installed on the wall behind the range. However, this directly conflicts with installation instructions from a manufacturer that show that it is clearly okay to install the outlet where it is going to be obstructed and out of sight below and behind the range, not on the wall above it. So while well, ChatGPT is generally saying that no, this would not be acceptable, it's not really giving reasons that make sense. Now, for the sake of comparison, we also tried this in Microsoft Copilot, which somewhat surprisingly gave a very positive answer, not only saying that this is possible, but is specifically popular on kitchen countertops, which seems like a terrible idea since that's the most likely place to encounter a spill into a face-up outlet. At least they do have the little disclaimer up there telling you to check for mistakes. Now, interestingly, when we tried asking Copilot the more specific version of the question, it gave a completely different answer, actually citing the National Electrical Code and linking a source. However, the linked source, while it was an article about how to install a 240 volt outlet, did not say anything about orientation or whether it is okay to install the outlet face up on the floor. We tried asking the same generic version of the question to Google Gemini as well, which gave more of a no answer, citing reasons like safety and water damage. We also tried asking the more specific version of the question about the 240 volt range outlet, and again got more of a no answer, but with reasons that didn't make sense. For example, an outlet on the floor or low on the wall behind the range is definitely not a trip hazard. Interestingly, it did link a source here, and that source is a decades old article about how it is hazardous to have outlets installed on the floor where people are walking because it's a tripping hazard. But again, that doesn't really apply to an outlet installed on the floor behind a stove where people can't walk. Point being, hopefully you already knew this, but please don't try to replace a qualified electrician with ChatGPT. Let us know what you think in the comments.